Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And here I'm here today to share with you my, this is my yearly update for skincare and I did make some changes. My goal is to keep my skin in the best shape it can be in without using any fillers, spa treatments, procedures, surgery. And I think it's wonderful, I think it's wonderful that all those things are available. And if I was probably 45 or 55, I probably would have been interested in some of them, but I've made it this far without anything and I'm gonna continue. So that's my number one goal. My number two goal is to use the least amount of product at the very best price that I can find. I wanna be able to find my items on sale and I want good quality products, products that actually work for me. And the third thing, I want to spend the smallest amount of time possible because I really am a slacker. And anybody that is new to skincare, you may think this is a lot, but I have pared it down. I'll put some videos below or above if you need any more information. And something I really, really believe in is you have got to drink enough water. You have to be hydrated. I have to have vegetables and I have to have fruit. And the fruit I choose to eat are colorful berries and anyway, but I just think that everything that we put in our body shows on the outside. Just kind of my way of thinking. I am a consumer of skincare. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not a dermatologist. And I'm just sharing with you what has worked for me over almost the last seven years. I'm going to try to do, I'm going to put time so you can skip ahead or I'm, or I'm going to try to learn how to do those things where you can just kind of click, click ahead. But for anybody who hasn't watched me, I'm going to share with you my history. I didn't do any skincare until I was 57 and I am 67. Yeah. 10 years ago, I started doing skincare. And prior to when I started using the Philosophy Miracle Skin Line, and I used that for three years, prior to that, I had used the Philosophy Purity Made Simple, the cleanser, and a cheap washcloth. And that's what I did. I've used it for like, I think it's 21 years. And if I ran out of it, I used Dove Soap. I have tried so many different things in skincare. I have found out that my skin does not like niacinamide. I have found out that there's so many oils I cannot use. And anything that like for moisturizer, I'm very, very prone to getting the small, tiny milia. I just stick with what is working for me. The brands that I use right now are Timeless, Skin Diva, It Cosmetics, Dermatology, that replaced my Benigma, the Dermatology Moisturizer, and Kakai Oil. Those are the brands I think I use, and I haven't changed anything up with the exception I quit using Benigma and found a less expensive alternative. So that's the only thing I've changed up. And you're not gonna probably learn about any new products from me. I just, if it's working, I continue with it. And when I see it's starting to not work, I'll try something new. So today I'm going to be demonstrating how I do my skincare Monday through Saturday. And Saturday is when I derma roll. But in order to keep this video shorter, I'm going to do another video next month and it's going to be about the extra things I do. This is just my basic skincare Monday through Friday. Probably five or so years ago I quit buying any cosmetics that weren't cruelty free and in my skincare the only thing that I use that is not cruelty free is the Philosophy Purity Made Simple and I have tried so many other cleansers and nothing has worked as well as it does. I use them later in the video you know there's going to be a giveaway uh, from the and the company that I, the companies that I contacted are going to be giving these to you. It's not anything that I've paid for and they're gonna send them to you and I'm gonna have 11 winners. And I also am going to announce the two winners from my last giveaway. I have never been paid to do a video. I've never had a sponsored video and I don't see anything wrong with it, but there's been nothing that I've been really interested in. I have never accepted anything for a good review and I do buy all my own skincare. Normally the companies have sent me the first one maybe six years ago and that I, I just like buying my own because I just like doing it. Late in the afternoon I usually cleanse my face and I use Purity Made Simple but before I start I used a cheap cheap washcloth and I just press water on my face. 
and then I use just probably about a dime size amount. If I had on face makeup, I would probably use my uh, makeup eraser cloth, but since I don't, I just use a small amount of the Purity, put it on my face, I've already put it on my eyelashes, and I just kind of rub it in and kind of let it soak. It doesn't suds up. I don't, it, I think for me, the smaller the amount of cleanser I use, the better my skin feels. I've used Purity for 21 years, and if I ran out for some chance, I would use um, like Dove, just regular Dove, but it's been my cleanser of choice, and it doesn't strip my skin, and I just really like the way that it, it works. I li it looks like I am rubbing on my whole eyes, but I was really just rubbing my eyelashes, and I do wash my neck with the Purity Made Simple, and then I take my washcloth, and I kind of use four different sections and I'm wiping off the makeup and I mean I'm wiping off the cleanser and I will rotate it clockwise. The, what I have on my wrist or what I have used since I was a little girl, I used to use headbands, you can use scrunchies, I think this is these are some uh, pantyhose that I had cut up. I always keep a couple in my drawer and then I just hang it on a hook and it dries overnight. But my face is thoroughly clean, clean when I'm done. It always looks like heck I have on eye makeup because I do have permanent eyeliner. So it looks like I don't get my makeup off, but I do. And uh, this is my evening cleanse. Since I cleanse my face mid-afternoon to late afternoon, I usually just go about and do what I want to do. And whenever I feel like using my nighttime skincare, is when I will, and it's usually two or three hours later. But I do think it's important to wait 15 minutes between cleansing your skin and using Retin-A. And what I'm using is the 0.1% Retin-A, and I put it just all over my face. And in a few minutes, I'll show you the areas that I avoid. I just pat it in gently all over my face. I know I should do my ears, but I don't. I, I do sometimes, and sometimes I forget it. But I just want, I bring it down to my eyebrows and then I just work it in all around my face. And I do make sure that I get the upper lip because I do think that is helping um, the lip lines to not appear. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I try to remember to put the 0.5% Retin-A on my neck. And a friend gave this to me and I pretty well do it, but I, sometimes I mess up. But at my bedside, I have my Kakai Oil and I use two drops a bit on my neck the nights I don't use Retin-A. And also when I'm in bed, I put on my uh, Timeless Hydrating Eye Cream. One container lasts six months, and I've learned to just to get out a very tiny amount, and I just dab it around my eyes. I put it on my eyelids, and I've been really trying to take special, I've been trying to pay attention to the inner corners of my eyes. Sometimes that area will get dry. And so that's what I do. Sometimes I use the secret sauce, sometimes I don't. It depends on how my skin feels. So I put my hand on my face and I feel my skin. Something I want to mention, I've had several, I've had quite a few questions asking me if I've had anything done with my eyelids and I have not had anything done with anything. But the only thing I can think of is that I put the Retin-A down to my eyebrows and it has provided more lid space for me. That is the only thing that it could be because I don't you do anything else. I don't think any of the skincare that I use is powerful enough. I think it tightened my forehead some, but if you look at my old videos, you can see my eyes used to be much more hooded than they are now. And something else, I am 23 pounds lighter now than I was when I filmed my last skincare updates. It's been really kind of interesting to see what the weight loss has done to my skin. Also on Retin-A or Tretinoin, that is the generic, Tretinoin is the generic, Retin-A is the name brand. Every year when I go to my physician, I ask for a physical prescription. I want the physical prescription of Retin-A. And then I go home and I get on GoodRx, and today I looked on GoodRx.com. You enter where you live and you search for the price of the medication. And I put in Tretinoin, 0.1% gel, that's what my prescription was for, and or cream. He did gel or cream. And I always look for the 45 gram tube. Today at Kroger, it was 
at CVS, it was $55, and that is for the big tube. This is 45 grams. This is 20 grams. This is 2.25% larger than this, and this lasts a whole year. And I'm pleased with spending that much. That something that lasts me over a year, it, it, I think that's great. And I do put Lansinol or some other kind of uh, lip treatment on my lips before I go to bed. When I get up in the morning, the very first thing I do is I, I brush my hair, I take another cheap washcloth, I dampen the end of it, and I just massage it around my lips. It does a great job of exfoliating. And what I'm doing, I'm wanting to clean around my whole mouth area because I'm going to be using my red light therapy. This is the only type of therapy device that I use, and I think it's been about three or four years. They sent me my first one, and then I bought my second one, and I just use this every day, put it in my mouth, and it is for three minutes, and that's it. So I usually go make coffee while that is in my mouth, and my morning cleanse is different than my evening cleanse. I start with a clean, washcloth and I get it warm and I put it on my face and I just press it into my face and I will do this a couple of times. I don't have my wristbands on because it doesn't drip down my sleeve. Sometimes I splash water on my face and sometimes I don't but I always want that cheap washcloth so it can kind of help get rid of some dead skin and I do my neck also and I do this twice in the morning. I'll rinse it out and apply the second washcloth to my skin and I do the exact same thing. And the third time I put cool water on the washcloth, not cold, just cool, and then I just go over my face. My grandmother always told me to do that and I listened to her. She was also the one that told me never to pull or tug at my eyes. After I've had my coffee, just any time later, sometimes it's an hour, sometimes it's two hours, but I go into my dressing room and that's when I start my skincare. I take one Shiseido cotton and I cut it into quarters and I use my It Miracle Water. Just about three drops on one quarter of a Shiseido pad is enough to go over my whole face and, uh, and it keeps it damp. When I'm done, my skin will be damp and it will be clean and it will be ready for my next step. I like the Shiseido because they're 100% cotton. I get four uses from one cotton pad and they're biodegradable. So I really do like them. I've tried the gauze, I've tried, I've tried all sorts of things, but this is what has worked for me. And then I turn it over and I kind of, some dampness to my face. And this is when I use my Argaroline. I just use one drop. I've been using this same bottle since 3-15-2020 and I would say I have six months left, so about 18 months. I think it's really helped me. I don't use it like Botox. It doesn't really work like Botox, but it, I definitely wouldn't skip this step. And then I take a tiny amount, and I usually get too much when I'm, when I'm doing these videos, but I take a tiny amount of the It Under Eye Brightening Cream, and I just really like it. I like the way it makes my under eyes look. I think it's, it's helped and I enjoy using it. And the next step is my vitamin C. And there's two brands I like because they have the same ingredients. It's Timeless and Skin Diva. I bought this small Timeless in the pump and I did stick it in the freezer and I thawed it out, oh, just in the refrigerator and it didn't bust. So I, I don't know if that will happen to you, but I wanted to try it just to see because I usually try to buy mine ahead of time when there's a sale. And when I go back into my dressing room, I have this little bottle, little blue bottle, of, and it has the Timeless Matrixyl 3000 and the Hyaluronic Acid, and I, it's half and half, and then I use, oh, probably four or five or six drops, and I put it all over my face, and I just kind of dab it in, just kind of bounce it in. And after it has kind of absorbed a little bit, I'll put on the Dermatology Tinted Sunscreen or the It Cosmetics 50 SPF. Today I'm putting on the, the Dermatology. I just use one pump and I protect my face in other ways from the sun. If I'm just around the house and not going to be outside for extended period of time, I just use one pump of it. And it, it really doesn't tint my skin, I don't think. Just maybe just a little bit, 
but it doesn't provide very much coverage. And I like that. It doesn't bother me at all not to have much coverage. It Cosmetics and then the Dermatology. And then I finish up with uh, something on my lips. It Since it's daytime, I use like maybe Jack Black. It has a 15 SPF, but I start out with that in the morning. And I don't usually have two things of vitamin C plus E plus Frulic, um, Frulic Acid open. I did that just because I wanted, I bought the small one and I wanted to see if it would freeze. I keep both of mine in the refrigerator and I will, I'll use them both up because I have never had one go bad because I keep it in my refrigerator in my kitchen. And that way, when I put it on, I'll put it on in the kitchen. I may clean around the kitchen, but 15 to 20 minutes later, I go back in my dressing room and continue with my skincare. The products I no longer use are the IT Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. I just didn't see it did anything. I love the brightening eye cream, but the Confidence in an Eye Cream did not do anything, and I used a whole jar of it. The Bye Bye Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Line Serum, I used two bottles of that and when I did that uh, kind of testing things out and doing without it for a while I didn't see any difference so I quit that and I quit using Benigma although if this dermatology did not work for me their moisturizer I would go back to the Benigma in a heartbeat I liked it because it was not greasy I don't want a real emollient uh, product on my face in the morning and if you're still here this is going to be a giveaway and so what I did, I contacted the people that I could get a hold of and to see if they would be interested in doing a giveaway. And in alphabetical order, I'm going to tell you who I got in touch with. I got in touch with Dermatology. I got in touch with uh, Skin Diva and Timeless Skin Care. I couldn't get a hold of It Cosmetics and I couldn't get a hold of Kakai Oil. So we're just going to leave those alone for a while. But I'll keep using them. Anyway, there's going to be 11 winners, and Dermatology is going to give three people one of the jars, the large jars, of the Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46, and it's, uh, I really, really like it. Skin Diva is going to give three bottles of their Argaroline, and this is what I use one drop of. And I will put links below, and I'll check if I still have some, if my discount codes are still working. I'll put them if, in there if they are, but they're going to be giving three away. And Timeless Skin Care is going to be giving five people a five-piece skincare kit. And I'll show you what's in there because I, I, I use them all. Well, one of them I'm kind of incorporating. It's going to be a larger size than the vitamin C plus E plus frulic acid. The Hydrating Eye Cream from Timeless. The Matrixel 3000. And the Hyaluronic Acid. And these are all full size. And the last item is going to be the Timeless Squalene Oil. And this is a 100% derived from olives. And I used this when I first started with Retin-A, when I'd have like a dry spot, and it worked real well. I haven't incorporated it into my skincare yet, but I'm, I'm going to try it slowly cause, because oils don't always agree with me. And since this is a giveaway, I cannot reply to comments or questions. But if you go to any video that I have filmed prior to this, even though I say I can't, I can. I just can't do it when there is an open giveaway. And if you want to be in this giveaway, it is international. Uh, you just have to be 18 years old. And in the comment section below, just put one of these words, and I'm going to put them up here, and put them in the order which you would like to be considered for the giveaway. Because when I do random comment picker, the first person that comes up gets their first choice and so on and, and so forth. And I will announce the winners in my next giveaway. And speaking of winners, from my last giveaway, I had two $50 e-gift card winners, or they can have PayPal or Venmo. And the only thing they had to say in the sentence was summer. And I got to tell you something, I like all seasons, but summer's my least favorite. I close my giveaways after three days. When the video's been up three days, that's when I put it into random comment picker, and I think I had 468 unique comments. And out of those comments, there were 358 people that used the word summer. And uh, the winners are, the first name that was drawn was May N. Congratulations, May. The second winner 
is Morningstar. Congratulations, Morningstar. All you have to do is leave a comment below and I'll let you know how to get in touch with me and we'll make this happen and hopefully it'll do, we'll do it really quickly. Last time when I did it, everybody within 24 hours, everybody claimed their gift. It is all good. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I appreciate you so much. I will see you in my next video and take care. And I'm a little bit late. I'm not sure how to do that. I'm going to see if I can do that where you can just... And prior to that, so it's been kind of like challenging to see. I can't remember. And you do need to, well, I don't know if you do or not. And uh, that's just...